Tonight, illegal street racing is going full throttle, but what happens if you take away their cars? Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Gary Broad. From the crashes to the property damage, it's a serious scene, which is why one city is considering drastic action. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is live along I-225. Lance, a hot zone for street racing there. It is. I-225, Mississippi, Chambers, Smith Road. Those are all the places that street racers do their thing. Now, the racers don't seem to be phased by tickets and fines, so city council considering another possible deterrent, taking the racers' cars. It's become an epidemic in the metro area. They think that they can get away with this. At night or in broad daylight. Motorcyclists, car and truck drivers tearing up the streets and highways at high speed. Street racing such a big problem that Aurora police are asking city council for help. They really are have their hands tied in terms of what tools are available for them. Mayor Pro Tem Francois Bergen says the usual penalties don't work. Some of them don't really care that they get a fine and they're willing to pay the fine. You know, if it goes to court, they're supposed to get 12 points on their license, but that's usually pleaded down. Denver 7 got a first-hand look at the issue during a ride-along with APD in 2019. If it's a 50, they're doing 100 to 110. Police say their main concern is highway takeovers, where racers block all the lanes, causing those behind them to slam on their brakes. And once the lanes are blocked, the racers hit the gas. Bergen says she's considering drafting an ordinance that would allow the city to confiscate racers' vehicles. That might be one deterrent. We certainly um, will be very careful in, in ensuring civil liberties and, um, and making sure that there is due diligence and due process for anyone that, that, that you know, we would seize a vehicle for. The racing happens all over the metro area. Sometimes I'm just like you know, wanting to rush home and I can't because I've got these street racers messing with all of us. It's not just racing that's a problem. Bergen says she gets complaints from business owners whose parking lots are being torn up by drivers doing donuts. We just don't want any fatalities. Bergen says it's all about safety and preventing crashes like this one. Now, street racing is so widespread along the front range that CSP is heading up a task force on the issue. Law enforcement agencies banding together in an online effort called ReportStreetRacing.com. You can visit that website, learn what to look for, and how to report illegal street racing anonymously. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Oh, it is such a huge issue. Thank you so much, Lance.